Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Erica, and for those of you returning, welcome back. So, oh my goodness, has it been so long since I have said that? Jeez, I don't even remember when was the last time I filmed a video for YouTube, but I am filming again. I am back. I just needed to take a little break from social media and from YouTube world. It was just mentally consuming me mentally. Yeah. <laughs> so it is so hard to be a small YouTuber nowadays because there's so much competition and just the numbers start getting to your head and then the Instagram and the followers and then the likes and then the posting and then the pictures. It was just so overwhelming for me. So I did take a three weeks off, but I am back and I am better than ever. For today's video, I want to do something different with you guys. I have a get ready with me. So I'm going to do my everyday makeup look, which you guys mostly see in my videos every single time. And I do get a lot of questions. Uh, girls want to know what lip gloss I use, what eyeshadow I use, what lashes I use, what foundation I use. So I am going to give you guys all of those details in today's video. Before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Now. All right, so let's jump right in. So the first thing I need to do is remove my eyeballs because I can't do my makeup with my glasses on. So let's take this off. So the first thing that I do all the time is I moisturize my skin. I don't use anything fancy. I just use this Jergens lotion. I use it for my whole body and I use it for my face all the time. It is super moisturizing for me and it's the only thing that really helps with me because I have really, really bad skin. And just a disclaimer, um, I do have lashes on already and I've had them on for over a week. So don't be judging your girl on the lashes, okay? I don't want to rip them off because the glue that I use is super powerful and it rips my hair off so I let them fall out on their own. Okay, so first I use my primer by Smashbox. I've used this all the time. I think I've been using this for about four or five years. I absolutely love it. I am due for another refill. As you guys can see, this is like almost gone. So as I do this, I do want to kind of like sit down and chit chat and talk to you guys a little bit about kind of what's been going on and for you guys in, if you guys are interested so this video is not very boring. But first, I apply the primer to my cheeks only because that is where I need the most priming basically. That's where I have the most pores. So that's where I put the primer. So for foundation, I do use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1. And I mix these two shades together, which is 02 natural beige and 03 light beige. So I mix these two and I absolutely love these because you don't really need concealer with them, which I absolutely love because I don't like to cake my face too much every day just because then I will eventually break out. Speaking about social media, I was trying to grow my channel and I was trying to grow my channel's Instagram at the same time. And I am a first time mom. My baby is two months old. And it just was not working out for me. I was so focused on the numbers, on the subscribers, on, on the views, on the likes, and the comments that I like completely had a mental breakdown and I lost it. So I did take a little break because I just felt like I needed it. I felt like I needed to focus on my daughter, focus on my husband and focus on myself and not go crazy over likes on Instagram and over views on YouTube because it was honestly consuming my brain cells. So I'm actually really not a girly girl, but I love makeup if that makes any sense. Okay, so that is it for the foundation and now I'm just going to set it since it is a foundation and concealer at the same time. And I'm going to use the Derma Blend Professional Loose Powder. I have used so many loose powders and this is the only one that has worked for me. So if you guys have any other recommendations and loose powders that have worked for you, let me know. So I'm just going to put 
Oopsies. <laughs> so I do have a question for you guys. How are you first time moms doing in this whole COVID situation? Because this whole coronavirus started when I was around 30 weeks pregnant. And now my baby girl is two months old. And it's been kind of rough, tough for me, like mentally, because I wasn't able to be around my friends and my family. And I couldn't have a baby shower. And I couldn't really do the maternity shoes that I hadn't planned. All right, there's like powder everywhere. And I don't really have any pictures of anyone while I was pregnant. And then now that my daughter is born, she's two months old and literally no one has met her. I am just terrified to bring her around people. The more I think about it, the more crazy I go. And I don't know how you moms are dealing with it, but please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any suggestions and what I should do or how I should cope with it or I don't know because this is honestly so hard and this is not how I wanted my pregnancy or you know the birth of my daughter to go anyways moving on with the makeup okay right, so now I'm going to grab my concealer and put some underneath my eyebrow this will help shape my eyebrow a little bit and it also will work as an eyeshadow base and by the way guys, I am not by any means a professional makeup beauty guru. I just really love art and I just really love makeup. So I kind of do whatever I want on my channel. If you guys haven't noticed, I have a little bit of everything. So I just wanted to do some makeup videos also and see how that turns out. Now I'm just going to use this elf brush and blend it. So now to set my eye concealer, I'm going to go in with my ABH Contour Kit. This is so old, I'm gonna use this so much. I already hit pan with this color right here. I'm not sure if this is the vanilla or the banana. I don't really know, but it's this color right here. And I use the light to medium kit. I'm just gonna set I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I absolutely love this palette so much. Let me show you guys the inside of the palette. And this is the collab she did with Morphe. I just love it because there's so many colors in here and there's so many neutral tones and so many shimmers. And like, look at these beautiful blues. And I know this palette is old already, but I use it every single day and I love it. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with this shade right here in the corner and I am going to put that on my brow bone to kind of give it a little bit of a highlight. So I'm also thinking and doing like Halloween makeup videos. I am a so much of a big fan of Halloween makeup videos and makeup tutorials. I absolutely love it. Again, I have done a couple on my Facebook page slash Snapchat stories. So I will post a picture or two on the screen to show you guys like my work and what I've done. But it's been such a long time since I've actually sat down and done something that I feel like I won't be good at it. So I am thinking about it and I am like a 90% sure that I want to throw in like a couple of tutorials in October so we'll see how that goes okay so now in my whole eye I am going to put this third color right here in the palette I'm just gonna go all over my lid my lid <laughs> I'm gonna go all over my lid and apply that color now I am going to go in with this shade right here and I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eye. And the brush that I'm using is just the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. I'm going to go right here. Now that I am done with the neutral colors, I do like to add a little pop of shimmer to the inner corner of both of my eyes. So the one that I always use is the second shade right here. It's like a nice little champagne color. 
So when you're applying shimmer shades, it's always good to like either wet your brush or use your finger to apply the shade. But I'm just going to use this angled brush and I feel like it works just as fine. I'm going to pack, I'm going to pack the shape on there and then I'm going to blend it out. All right, so I am done with my eyes. Now I, we are going to move on to the rest of the face. I'm going to go back in with my ABH contour kit. Contour kit. Contour kit. And I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush. This is the sculpting brush. So I'm going to go in with this shade and mix it in with a little bit of this shade because this one will make me look very gray and this one made me look very dark. So I just mix a little bit of both. I don't like to like overdo the contour when it's like an everyday look because I like to look sort of natural looking. Okay, so now I, we're going to put this all over the bottom of our chins. And this will help hide like if you have a double chin going on or something like that like your girl over here does so just make sure you blend it all the way down to your neck now i'm going to grab a smaller brush and i'm going to put just a little bit on my nose i don't go crazy contouring my nose a smaller brush I'm going to go on the sides, bring it up to my brow, go down. All right, so now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in to my eyebrows. My eyebrows, I don't do anything fancy. All I do is put some brow gel. So my eyebrows have always been very full. I've always had so much eyebrow. All right, so now my eyebrows are done, my face is done. Now we're gonna jump into my favorite part. And before I do that, I'm just going to set my face with this Wet n Wild Coconut 3-in-1 Photo Focus Primer Water Prep, Set, and Refresh. And this is my favorite um, setting spray. I have used so many from Urban Decay to Elf and Wet n Wild is just it. And it smells so good, like it smells like the beach. So now that my face is wet, I'm going to apply highlight, and I love highlight. Like I used to apply so much highlight that Noel used to call me a tin man. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> but you know what? Your girls don't care because if people are hating on you, girl, you're doing something right. You feel me? He was just mad that I was glowy and he wasn't. Boy, if you don't so now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. blush brush and I don't really use blush so I use this for my highlight brush and I absolutely love, 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 love how it applies my highlights. So, it's great. Now that that is done, I'm going to set it again. I can literally put this on all the time. It's so refreshing. And the cucumber one, even better. Okay, so now for mascara, I'm going to go with the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I love this one so much. Look at this wand. And I'm not going to apply too much because I do have falsies on. So I am just going to apply a little bit to my actual lash line. and the bottom. Because remember, this is supposed to be a natural everyday makeup look, so you don't want to go too crazy. Okay. And just a little tip for everyone out there. Do not apply mascara on before the setting spray. 
because you will just mess up your whole look and then the mascara will run and then I've done it don't do it okay now last but not least for my lips I'm going to go with my all-time favorite lip gloss and this is actually by Fox Beauty and this brand is actually Noelle's cousin brand and I absolutely adore her and I adore all her products and I will be doing uh, more makeup tutorials with her products soon too but this is her lip gloss and I believe this is in the shade Adore Me I will link her information down below I'm not too sure what the shade is but I will link it also I'm going to apply it and I absolutely love this gloss because it's not sticky like it's not sticky at all it's super natural looking it's super hydrating it's vegan cruelty free lights on it feels like it's the smoothest butter it's just I have a nothing bad to say about this lip gloss and I am super proud of her and you go ahead girl do your thing all right guys well that is it for today's video this is my final everyday no makeup makeup look you can obviously tell I have makeup on but it does not look so super crazy and extravagant I feel like it's nice and glowy and natural and I do this every day and I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about this video. And if you guys want to see more about these videos, you know, I kind of do like motherhood, beauty, lifestyle videos. That's kind of like what my channel is about. But again, I do what I want, what I want and my channel just because I can. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I have so many more videos coming for you guys. So don't forget to click on the bell to turn on your post notifications to be notified when I post my next video. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.